you proposed to have Republican presidential debates moderated only by people who have voted in a Republican primary. Really? What are we going to do? We're going to have to go through our life voting history and submit our records for some presidential commission that's going to decide whether we're Republican enough to moderate? How can we trust you to run the government when you can't even run a successful campaign? The reputation that you have among sub some conservative Republicans is that you spent us into oblivion and put our grandchildren and our children under a debt that we still can't get out of. Do you have any regrets about the spending under your administration? You ran for office promising hope and change and most of all to change the culture in Washington, to unify the country. What happened? You claim you don't like to play the aggressor. How do you explain Ukraine? You told a debate audience in October that the claims about your mismanagement of finances from your student loans to uh, your mortgage issues was all discredited information. That's not true. There is a long history of you having difficulty with financial issues. Why did you mislead the entire debate audience and nation? Do you feel now that you've gone through the transition that the problems you had prior are still here? Has the transition solved them? Or do you feel that you've adopted more problems having gone through this process and put yourself out there so publicly? Why should the American people trust you to cover politics and the presidential race and the news every day, day in and day out, when you misled them so many times? Some in America want to say that you are liberal, that you adopt leftist principles. You've denied that. Why did you think that was important? You've marketed yourself brilliantly. And part of what you sell is sex appeal. Why is that a healthy message for young girls in America to learn that if they ooze enough sex appeal and take enough pictures of themselves and promote their appearance all the time, how is that a positive, healthy message for them? Your family stood by you when you came out as a molester of the sisters in your family. They stood by you again when that information was made public and you were the subject of the nation's scorn. At that moment, when they stood by you the second time, you knew you were still a sinner. You knew you were cheating on your pregnant wife and you let them go out there before the public and defend your character. Any regrets? Any second thoughts about putting them in that position? How could you have told the Egyptian Prime Minister on September 11, 2012, right after our consulate was attacked in Benghazi, Libya, that you knew, you knew that attack was not over a video, that in fact it was a terrorist attack, and then three days later told the families of the fallen exactly the opposite?